Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to replace your EEPROM on your SE1X to the SE3X functions. While watching this video, you will be instructed on what to disassemble and how to remove the chip. In the interest of time, I have already pre-removed the screws that are on the lid, the three screws that attach the front to the lid and we will pull this up and you'll notice it's fallen forward a little I've also loosened the screws on the bottom now to make it easier to get access to the EEPROM I am going to go ahead and remove the three bottom screws as well and you'll see in a minute how that greatly improves our ability to remove the chip with a screwdriver. If you have a chip puller, you will not need to bend this front panel over. So we're gonna lay this down. Doesn't need to be flat, just needs to clear out and give us some room. On this voice board, these two screws stay here. Don't take those off. That's where the hinge is. There'll be one, two, three, and four. Your voice boards won't have these cables. This is the SE3X modification for the extra filters. Once we have loosened those screws and also removed, if you have one or two jacks, the nuts off the back, we can now tilt this magically. I'm just gonna use a little screwdriver here to wedge in here to keep it from falling on us. One take. There we go. This exposes our CPU and you will see we have two big chips, one with a label. If yours doesn't have a label, it's the big chip on the left. Using a simple, you can zoom out. For a okay. um, simple green meanie as we used to call these in the days, flat screwdriver, we are going to uh, go under where the chip sits in the socket and the socket and we are gently gonna wedge it in there and then remove the EEPROM. We can set this aside and now let me go get another EEPROM just for yuck's sake. And now we have the new sticker laden SE3X version 1.0 EEPROM. These EEPROMs have a notch. This notch must go towards the back of the chassis. This is a relatively simple install. We just want to make sure that all our pins are lined up, sit it on there, the pins are already pre-bent, push it down, and it's in. It's that simple. Now, of course, we would just simply reverse our process of putting everything back together, and we have accomplished our task at hand. Um, should you have any further questions and get confused, you can always just email us at support at studioelectronics.com. We thank you for watching this award-winning industrial film. Thank you.